certainly understand why Coach Barbie would schedule as he did. What a move by the freshman Stokes. For those that are watching at home, this is a knowledgeable fan base of the game of basketball. They were oohing and on at the crossover even before Stokes got to the rim. That three ball off the mark. Yeah, that was a Harlem, New York shake right there. <laughs> I see you, Kanoa. You got a little, little hip hop reference in there. I love it. <laughs> and here comes Auburn clinging on to a three point advantage. The lob to the rim. Sullivan to Josh Langford. Wow. And Josh Langford getting rewarded for hustling down the floor. Your coaches talk about all the time, Canola, run the floor, run the floor. It puts pressure on the opposing team. Wave off the bucket, a foul against Wiseman on the screen, but here's a look. The Again. magnificent athleticism. And then, yeah, Lankford gets behind the defense. It's an easy jam. Nice effort. 6'7", sophomore from Huntsville, Alabama, was suspended the first six games of the season for a violation of team rules. Why don't you say his entire name? That's Here we go. Take us to break. Valdelicio Makanga Maya Joaquim saying, get out of here. And then at the other end, saying, get in there. Moser for three. That's off the mark. Stokes traces down the board. Lead pass to Thomas. The throw down. Hawaii still alive. Brereton for three, the double clutch, knocks it down. And a timeout was called prior to that half court heave. This game is tied for the first time. Right now, the clock reads point two. The whistle did blow following the make. So we'll see how much time is put on the clock here for a final Xavier possession. Hans doing his best imitation of Michael Jordan against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The double clutch three under duress. Hans Brereton, who served a two-year mission in Taiwan, this Hawaii team actually went on an off-season trip to Asia for two weeks where they played several exhibition games against Asian professional squads. And he served as the de facto translator because of his previous time spent over there. A newcomer to the team from Bartlett, Tennessee. And coming up as big as any Rainbow Warrior has this year. Well, Hans translated that. It's called Bucket. <laughs> it's understandable in any language. <laughs> That's right. What an effort. And for Xavier, trying to apply a tourniquet on a two-game losing streak. Johnson inbounds to Thomas, hands it off to Johnson. Back to Thomas! It goes! Point eight on the clock, Holloway heave, and it's over! And for the second time in as many nights, Xavier gets X'd in the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. Take another look at that last play. Well, talked about trying to get Justin Thomas involved. Nice action right there. Zane Johnson might have had a better shot without the rest, but he went to the hot man all evening long. Justin Thomas rolling to the bucket. Excellent find by Zane Johnson for the game winner. And he was the fitting player to hit that shot. 
on a career evening. 24 points, a career high for Justin Thomas. Four, 82 the final Hawaii logging its first victory over a ranked opponent since the season opener in 2005 against number four Michigan State and for Xavier they lose for the third straight time for the first time in the Chris Mack era it all comes down to this a raucous crowd at Aloha Stadium on this Friday night as Kahuku and Punahou get set to do battle for the Division I State Championship. It's the first Hawaiian Bank State football Division I title game coming your way. How you doing everybody? Kanoa Leahy along with the coach Larry Price. And if you had joined us just moments ago, you would have thought we either had a nervous <laughs> cameraman or something was wrong technically because things were bouncing. This Kahuku crowd, this Punahou crowd, they have come in droves to support their football teams and it is about to get wild, Coach. It's a raucous crowd, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the brackets, how these teams got here. Kohuku in a nail biter against Lelehua last week, winning in double overtime, 13-10. Punahou, lopsided victory over Baldwin, 35 nothing. And in that game, we saw the further development of Buff and Blue quarterback Tui Tui Leta, as he has continued to mature throughout the season. And it came to fruition last week, four touchdown passes for the Punahou starting quarterback. Also ran in the game-winning touchdown from three yards out, diving across the plane. That was in the second overtime against Lelehua. Three in the backfield here, power formation for the Red Raiders. Wiley again, in for six. From five yards out, touchdown run off on the Wiley. Second and five. Fake handoff. Wide open. Caught. Touchdown. Mahoney Lai Fakato, number 21, 5'10, 170 pound senior, was all alone. Fakato, who, like Wiley last week, rushed for over 100 yards, had 110 to be exact, with a touchdown. But on the receiving end of a Lassie Levi touchdown delivery, and how about this? The Kohuku Red Raiders with 9.55 left in the first half of 17-0 and throwing the ball for a score. And for the Red Raiders, 2011 is about redemption. Kahuku sits atop the Division I Prep Football Mountain yet again.